do oh <coughs> hey there how are you doing today i'm luckily not going to show you how to sing this song i'm going to show you how to play the song on guitar uh, i will be showing you how to play boy pablo uh, wtf the song was requested by all these people thank you all so much for your comments i'm going to show you how to play the song the first guitar and the second guitar parts i will also explain the strumming pattern a bit and that's really what i will be doing this video I hope everything will be clear. Feel free to suggest a news and don't forget to subscribe first. Also, a huge thank you to Patrick for his donation to my PayPal. Thank you so much for your lovely support in this way. And check out my Instagram. And that's really it. It's quite a short song, so I will be playing like an extended version, which is really playing the song twice because I thought it would be a bit easier for you. Otherwise, you would have to replay the whole thing the whole time. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy that. So yeah, I hope to see you after I play the chords. So the song is just in standard tuning, you don't have to use a capo or anything like that, so we can go directly into the song. So that's how to play the chords as you could see, nothing too weird going on. First of all the strumming pattern, uh, it's not too difficult, at a certain point it's quite fast. So for the intro and the outro really, this is really the strumming pattern. Like that, so. And for the chords, it's most important that you try to move your fingers not too much. So the chords are quite close to each other, as you can see. Try to, especially your, your pinky, stays at the same spot the whole time. So you can keep it there. And also your index finger almost stays at the same spot to say the whole time. Like that. But I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Then in the, the the verse, as you could say, the, the strumming pattern is like this. So first playing the bass note of each chord, and then playing the full chord with an upstroke, like, like that. And then in the pre-chorus, you could call it on the, the end of the verse, it's basically single strums. Like that. So that's the strumming pattern of almost the entire song. Then 
at the end the strumming pattern or in the choruses the strumming pattern is a bit different it goes like this As you can see, it's, it's really mainly downstrokes, but it goes quite quickly. So the most difficult thing will be to change chords uh, in a quick enough manner, if that's the right way to say it. It's most yeah, it's most difficult to change the chords quickly because you're strumming also very quickly. Again, to do that is to keep your fingers close to the chords. So you try to move as not much as you can. So keep your fingers close to the fretboard and try to. Yeah, keep the fingers close to the chords where they are already. So when you go from this one to this one, all you have to do is really place your middle finger over here because if if you're already keeping your uh, index finger over the whole fretboard here, then all you have to do is move your middle finger one fret further. So, And then when you go into this one, you do have to move a bit more, but yeah, you just have to, and then you go to this one. But again, I know that it might be a bit quick or too fast, but the best way to fix that is to uh, believe in yourself. <laughs> and if it's really too, too hard, you can also change the strumming pattern a bit, so you can do it like this. Like that, but that's totally up to you. Now that's really everything I wanted to say about the strumming pattern of the song. Now I will show you how to play the second guitar melodies of the song. So that's how to play that. Nothing, not too difficult, I think. Only this part might be a bit tricky. To do that, you, this part is not too tricky, I think. This slide might be a bit tricky, but you have to only hit the string at the ninth fret. And then firmly move your fingers upwards. And to keep this note alive, to keep it, to sustain the note, you have to really press your fingers quite hard on the fretboard so the string stays ringing, if that's the right term, but you know what I mean. Like that. If it's too difficult, you can also, but it doesn't sound as well as, as that. And again, this is a very Boy Pablo-like melody because the first guitar is playing this chord and the second guitar is doing this, which are really two notes of the same chord. So it's a classic Boy Pablo second guitar melody. And when he's going to this one, he's moving over here. But now you might think, oh, he's getting out of the chord really, but he really isn't because when he's playing this chord, he has a G and a... Um, B flat over here, and he's doing the exact same thing on the second guitar with a G and a B flat over here. So he's again playing the same chord, only in notes and at a different spot, but the same principle really. But which is great, by the way. It's a very creative way. But and uh, once he's going over here, he's moving a bit more out of the chord. But um, yeah, you can f try to figure out yourself which note he's playing on which if he's actually playing the chord of, or if he's more staying in the scale of the whole song yeah i really recommend you to do that i think that's everything i wanted to say about the chords and the tabs of the song thank you all so much for watching again if you're free to suggest a new song don't forget to subscribe first and i really do hope to see you the next time